Hey guys, um, here with another tutorial. Um, if you guys remember in my second tutorial, I said um, I would teach you guys how to animate the grass to make it look like an intro. Um, yeah, I couldn't have put that off for a long time. And um, I'm going to show you how to do it now as quick as I can. Because I don't want to make these really long. Um, make a sphere, resize, uh, resize it to whatever size you want it to be. And then I'm going to change the segments to 50 on the X and 50 on the Y. Or 50 on the X and 50 on the Z. Keep Y one, doesn't really matter. And um, Then we're going to make it editable by clicking C or the editable button over here on the left hand side of our screen. Change the polygon mode so we can choose polygons. And whatever live selection tool you want, come to the top and just select the top ones. Uh, make sure only visible elements is selected or else you'll select everything. And then after that is done, go into sim... I think it's under simulation, hair object fur. Uh, I'm gonna change the count to 50,000. All right, and we're gonna just lower down the length to like 10 for now, I guess. Preparing, all right. I'm just gonna change the color so it's green. And green. <clears throat> All right, so um, with uh, this technique that I showed you before, um, color thickness frizzle. You can add some frizzle, and I think the frizzle will be good. All right, but. Um, just kind of makes it look a little bit more like grass. Um, but to make our animation here, um, if on our cube, uh, I should have said this before, probably, but um, if you, um, let's put this down to like radius two, and we delete the fur object and everything and, and just select our cube. If you select the polygons that you want to make um, to make a letter or so, like so this is an N. If I go under simulation, hair objects and fur, on my N, that's the only spot the fur is gonna come up. And we're just gonna delete that for object and we're gonna place that one on there. Um, see now we have like an N here. And if we go into the fur tab, if we have our animation, our length is zero. Um, and if you have it on the zero keyframe, if you hold control and click this little button beside it or the little black circle, it turns red. And then when you move up on our time frame, it becomes just a red circle and it's empty in the middle and what that means is it's waiting for you to put another keyframe so um, if you move the length of it it turns yellow which also means it wants another keyframe and basically what I've done here is from 0 to 180 keyframes the grass is slowly gonna grow it's gonna grow up it's gonna grow it's gonna grow and it's gonna become our N here that we have. Um, and this is basically a quick way to animate the grass to make it look like your name is growing in the grass instead of, I don't know, just a neat um, little way I found <coughs> a while ago. And then if we click the cube, you go under selection and click invert it selects all the polygons that you didn't have selected 
um, which won't be good actually because we don't want all of those. So I'm just going to right click, hold control, and select. And it's going to deselect all of the bottom ones. Oh, okay. and then come under simulation, hair objects fur, delete the brown one. Yes, and drag and drop our fur object on there. And we can add some 75,000. And um, lower it down to like five. Randomize, we're gonna put like five degrees and five. And um, it's gonna take a little while to render out here because it has to prepare the hair before it renders. But yeah, I know it kinda looks really shitty because I don't have a lot of hair objects. <coughs> Let's go 500,000 just for the render here. Oh man. This is going to be a heavy render. Preparing hair. <coughs> 10 seconds, we're still preparing the hair. Here we go on our second pass for rendering hair. And I'll just um, show you how you can see our letter there. And in our animation, you can obviously make it level with the grass and then have it grow mm -hmm. out really far. Oh, God. And I think it's going to start rendering. There we go. You can kind of see um, our N is lower than all the other grass, so it's an imprint in the grass right now. But um, this is basically the way that uh, you can animate your grass to make an intro or an animation. Um, I hope you found, I hope you guys found this one useful too. Um, I've been trying to come up with tutorials um, in the past couple of days and that, and um, I don't know, it's, it's hard to think of stuff to teach you guys because there's so much stuff out there that it's just it's difficult but yeah um hope you guys like this click the like button if you did it helps me out and it takes literally half a second of your time and i've gotten like 400 views on one video and only like 12 likes which i don't understand because are people really that lazy to move their hand up a centimeter to click a button if you liked or not anyways um if you like this and you're not subscribed subscribe and uh, if you have any comment or questions ask them and if you have any suggestions for more tutorials just put them in the comment section below all right see you guys later